The grand houses in the village of Ratska are an alien site in northwest Transylvania. Huge detached properties dominating the land where tiny farmsteads once stood. But though some parts of life in Ratska are traditionally Romanian, the village itself has been rebuilt entirely by money earned in the UK. You don't have to be here long to see the British influence. Houses for sale offer British and Romanian contact numbers. Almost every car sports UK plates and the village itself is missing an entire generation. There are the young and there are the old, but those of working age, around 1,000 people, a third of the population, are in England, working to send money home. Andre Pab is one of those who left to be a supervisor in a London glazing firm. He's returned for Christmas and explained why it's jobs the majority of Romanians seek, not benefits. Over here, in a month, you can get about two, let's say, maybe, maybe 300 pounds a month. But in England, you can get this money in two, three days. My brother, my sister, um, my two uh, sister-in-law, brother-in-law, everybody's there. My husband also is there. Maria Nesti is enjoying time with her family again after five years as a chambermaid in the UK. She and many other relatives were in the first wave of workers to move when their country joined the EU in 2007. As the family prepared a pig for Christmas meal, she told me British fears of a mass movement of Romanians are unfounded, partly because countries like Italy and Spain are more popular, with almost two million already there, and partly because those who wanted to make the move to the UK already have in order to change their lives. There is a, a chance to win some money for our families from here because here is very hard to, to win the money for life, for our children, everything. Having spoken to people here, it's clear that contrary to popular myth, Romanians have no wish to go to the UK to live on benefits. They want to go earn, and then return to build their homes and their families. Now, obviously, some will abuse the system, but even government figures suggest that Romanians are not even in the top 20 of migrant groups claiming welfare. Ratska offers a snapshot of life in Romania. From the stories in this village, it seems those Romanians who want to work in the UK have already made the move. And come January, a wave of new migrants seems extremely unlikely. Emma Murphy, ITV News, Ratska, Romania.